<laughs> All right. Uh, I just did my Fab Five. And, Rob, did you hear it, Rob? I, I heard it. Quick. Did you did you have any disagreements? Only, only, no, I mean, um, the only Howard, thing that – Howard, Dwight? I, no, no. I, the uh, – Whenever people talk about Kobe, I'm just curious. Just just curious. How come he doesn't get dinged up for quitting in that playoff series? Like, like people act like it didn't happen. Right. You call him the ultimate competitor and all that, and people give him that and the Mamba mentality. Chris, that was a low point in his career. I mean, I, for that guy to throw the towel in was shocking to me. And I think it gets glossed over. I do not know why. Because that was obvious. It wasn't like he didn't play well. He just right. decided, I'm, 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 you know, I'm not going to play. He was and F you guys. Right. Am I right? Because remember, everybody was complaining. They complained about the night before he had much. 50 shots. The right. night before, I think. He was shooting too much. Game before, right. Yeah, and he said, okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to throw out a theory. You're, you're absolutely I'm, I'm just right. Asking, I'm just no, asking. You, you are absolutely right because, I mean, Kobe – what he's known for, Rob, I would say above everything else, I would say he's known for two things. Having a killer instinct and um, clutch play. Right. And you look at his clutch numbers, they aren't terrific. He's obviously hit some clutch, he hit clutch shots, but his clutch numbers weren't terrific. And as you said, I mean, can you think of another player that did that? Not of that caliber, Chris. That's the thing that just you know you you remember it. I remember it as clear oh, as no, day it's, it's because drastic. I could not believe it. I, yeah. I just couldn't believe it. Not not well, Kobe. They were up three to one in that series. It was Kobe and the Cosby kids. Come on, Schmush Parker and, they were and guys like that. Phoenix, yeah. And they had and, Phoenix, Phoenix down was, three was to a one. Good team that year. Yes, yes. that would have been a huge would have been feather tremendous. in his cap with yep. those guys, Chris. Am I right? I think Rob, I'm throwing. I'm gonna throw out a theory that remember at that time what Rob G was at 2008. No, Rob not what G was in junior high It was like 2006. School. It was not like 2006, young. seven. Do you remember what was it? Rob 2006, G? 2007, something like that. The the Kobe boycott of the fourth quarter. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. When he was playing hot what, potato what year with was the ball. It? 07, 06. One that, of those. Years. That was the year before he made his trade demand. So that would have been so 2007. So that might have been 06. 07. Well, 08, they went to the finals. Yeah, so it was 06, 07 is the okay, year we're so talking about. Rob G, you're the biggest Lakers guy So it was Lakers just one year going. before they went to the finals. But here, here's my theory, Rob. I'm going to throw this out, though. I think it's because if you go back to 2007, there was no first take. There so obviously wasn't an undisputed because there wasn't even a Fox, you know, Fox Sports One wasn't really doing much. It was it was it even in existence? I don't know. No. But there no. weren't the T the you had cold pizza, and you had Skip and Woody going at Woody Page, you know. But it wasn't it wasn't all debate the show, and that was you know it wasn't really a, a show that was making a lot of noise. And but so I, I think Rob. Because there wasn't all you had was Sports Center talking about it, which they did talk about it, but you didn't have all of these shows that went and and Skip would have went at Kobe, Stephen A would have went at Kobe, Max Kellerman would have went like all the guys would have went at him, and it would have been all day talking about him not shooting that shot. I think that's a part. I might be wrong, but I just think I, that's that is one reason why it doesn't stick out in our memory as much. When LeBron played Dallas in the finals in 2011, I was I think you and I together, if I'm not mistaken. We were on the show we're together. On first I have take vid- with Skip. I have video of that. Yeah. Right. It was I, the I three of us. Yeah. And so again, and then of you know, every we were everybody was debating it. There was just more emphasis on it. So that's my opinion. I could be wrong. But Rob G, it, now it, you were yeah. in LA. We weren't did he get crushed? What what was the like what was they he called the big baby much. on sports talk radio? Did people what what did people say? Um, I wouldn't say he got crushed. There were people who were upset, obviously, that he didn't right. shoot because they thought they had that series. Well, he's like three shots that second half. Yeah, he he boycotted basically. He's right. like, I'm not gonna show up. I'm gonna be out there, but I'm gonna be doing a lot of cardio. I'm not really playing. Um No, I think that it it was people weren't as upset with him as you'd expect, only because 
they understood that the Lakers roster was terrible relative to what yeah, they had been. Yeah, but they were up 3 Yeah, but one. relative to what they had right. been expecting with the Shaq Kobe rosters, it's like, hey, we're used to championships now. And you could tell with those rosters, they had no intention of putting a championship roster around Kobe. So there well, were I don't people think it who was were. Inten- See, well, that's excuse you me. can't say that you always have an intention. They, they had Smush Parker, who wasn't in the NBA, right? At but their my starting point, point why are you ripping on my cousin? At least Smush out of there. go through down dry spells, right? But Rob the, G. The, the, like they weren't trying. I, I understand, and I, I agree with you. What I'm saying is, Laker fans are not like that. We're not used to downturns. We're not used to just not six always years going all in the playoffs. I know, but that we're spoiled. You are. You used to it. They're spoiled. Laker fans. The older Lakers fans aren't. You are. The the Showtime Lakers won like five titles in a decade, and and they were in the finals. Uh, but run before every, them, every they time. had before them they had a, a, a rough patch, right? And, and they, then after them they had a and rough then they patch made a run for years. Shaq. And, and I get and it. They You're said, right. You know, they, they, the Lakers right. are the you guys best are spoiled. NBA what yeah, it's, it's, what that's what it is. All right, but he does. Rob, the bottom line is you're right that he does. Kobe it very just much gets stick a pass from that. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't stick at all. And people still talk about Dallas with LeBron and any any. Tr- struggles he's had, they they stick. All right, but here's what I want to ask you, Rob. Um, we got, as I mentioned, a great class, the greatest class ever going into the NBA Hall Basketball Hall of Fame. Kobe Bryant, or uh, Kobe Bryant, Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan. Of those three, whose career would you rather have had? If you could be one of those, have one of their careers. I would take Tim Duncan's career. I think Tim Duncan's career was nearly flawless. And Tim Duncan, because I I think he was flawless. I really do. I don't don't know what he didn't do right. I don't remember him losing a game because he did something. uh, You know, he shot one for 18 or something of that ilk. Uh, You know, he wasn't in the game when that rebound came. Uh, right, that was Popovich. That was Popovich. You didn't have him in the game. Bosch, that was yep. right. That was the game. Also, that Kawhi Leonard as a rookie, Chris was he rookie year or second year? I think it might have been his rookie year. He missed a free throw, which would have put him up by four, and 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 Ray Allen's three wouldn't have beat them. Do you remember that? I mean, that was like part of of the whole thing that went down. All I'm saying is Tim Duncan. If they win that one championship. He would have been six and zero like you Michael can't Jordan. Say that, no, I'm just I'm if they would have won. I mean, you can't. You can't. No, nah, let that. me let me let me put it in my my perspective. Is that it wasn't like they got blown out four games to none. They had a chance to win that championship. They did. They didn't win it. All I'm saying is he was five and one. He played. He did everything he was supposed to do. I don't know what else he could have done. He played a long time. He was a really good player for a long time. And I know he didn't say much. People kind of poo-pooed him because he's just a guy from the islands who wears sandals and shorts and, you know, wasn't a part of the basketball, you know, American basketball bravado, bravado right. Chris, and all that. He just wasn't – that's not who he is. And he's quiet and just did his job, workmanlike. And he had a great career. I mean, my God, to, to continue to win and think – it wasn't like you had a good team for two or three years and you went two in a row or three in a row because you had a nice squad. They won five over 18 years. You know what I mean? Like, they were always good. They made the playoffs every year. And then they won five championships without ever back-to-back. So it was constant. they were constantly winning and building up to the next thing. I would take his career over, over anybody. He was over phenomenal. Those those yeah, over those three. He was phenomenal. Uh, there, I mean, Tim Duncan... He's known, he's regarded as the greatest power forward ever. Obviously, if you want to debate whether or not he was really a power forward, that's fine. But he's regarded as the greatest power forward of all time. I I feel that way. If we're going to label him a power forward, I would say he's the greatest. Uh, But I would rather have Kobe's career. Uh, Kobe... They both won five championships. The reason I said you can't say Duncan would be 6-0... and is because them losing that championship to the Heat is really what motivated them to go get that sixth one. I mean, Rob, you remember all year, all they wanted to do was get back to the finals against the Heat. Not get back to the finals against Philadelphia or Boston or somebody else in the East. 
They wanted Miami because they felt like they gave away a championship. They, and, they did. And I, I, they should have felt that way. I mean, they had that thing wrapped up. Uh, if you remember so in Miami, they Chris, they brought six. out the they, – were you down there in Miami for that oh, one? I was they, there, yeah. They and brought, they brought, the, out, they the brought out the ropes. ropes. Yep, they brought the out the ropes. ropes. And people streamed out of the Miami and arena. They got mad because they couldn't and get back in. And they were banging on the door <laughs> trying to get back in when Ray Allen hit that shot. Right, right, for overtime. But, um, no, I, I would rather have Kobe's. Kobe was a part of – there have only been three three-peats since Bill Russell. So you could say three three-peats in modern basketball. Kobe was one of them with Shaq. Kobe was on a team, so he was a part of a, a dynasty. And I think Duncan was. You, Duncan doesn't fit your criteria of dynasty. But Duncan never went back-to-back. Back. Kobe went three straight and then back-to-back back again. Kobe and Shaq, Kobe was a part of one of the greatest teams of all time. Kobe has the 81-point game. Kobe, uh, bottom line, Rob, Kobe's iconic, and Kobe's, Kobe it has more, he touched the people more. And not just because he died prematurely, as I said earlier. He just touched the people more. He, I mean, people, they just love Kobe. Some hate him, but they loved, I mean, he drew people in. He touched people. He inspired people way more than Tim Duncan. And he will be remembered way more than Tim Duncan. And so that's why I say I would go with Kobe. You, you're you right. Duncan wasn't in the quote-unquote in crowd. He but wasn't Kobe in the was. crowd. He Kobe right. led the in crowd. Like, I mean, I, and I'm not talking about, you know, because he didn't hang with, you know, LeBron and Chris Paul and all those guys. But, I mean, he was like, he was just a cultural phenomenon. Yeah, right? but, but this is this and is Duncan why, wasn't, and they both why had five against, rings. They both had tremendous individual careers. I'd rather be have been Kobe's career. Yeah, but the only thing is, Tim Duncan was never Robin, and and Kobe was. Shaq was he the was most Robin. dominant. He wasn't Batman that last championship. No, I'm talking. And I'm they talking, went seven years without winning one. I'm talking about Kobe. Those three in a row. Shaq was the most dominant player in the NBA. And I'm not saying. Shaq, I mean, Kobe was a bum, or he was at the hanger-on. He was phenomenal. But, but Shaq was the best player. Just, That's he fine. Was. He was the most but Kobe dominant. Was, and I, but and I'm was, just saying, Tim Duncan, I, Tim Duncan uh, was that team. Um, not the last championship. All right, all right. But still, but, the, but, but those three, that year. those are the three, and they, they made the playoffs every year. He didn't have any of those downturns that Kobe had. He didn't have a moment where he quit on his team ever. There's a lot of stuff. I'm just saying, I would take Tim Duncan. I know he's not flashy. I know he's not in the in crowd. I know all that. But if you're just talking about your basketball career and you strip back all the other uh, Kobe wanting to be Michael Jordan and talk like him and walk like him and all that other stuff and having to come up with a nickname and having to go get a tattoo and and all this other stuff, Tim Duncan didn't do any of that. He just Kobe played won a ball. dunk contest. He just played ball. <laughs> played no, but ball. here's the thing, Rob. And this, you you said this before in other, you know, uh, context. Duncan went seven years without getting to the finals. Seven years. And, I mean, by that last championship he won, he averaged 15 points that year. He was still, you know, a great, like, cog. I mean, they were really a team. But, you know, he wasn't, like, Lee carrying that team like he had earlier. Yeah, but, and but then, Kobe, and but then if, even if Kobe in didn't get Pau Gasol. He was really good, but Tony Parker got the finals MVP. If, if Jerry West didn't hook up Kobe with Pau Gasol, I don't know if Kobe would have ever won another championship. Yeah, but that's like saying if, if, Dunk, if San Antonio hadn't gotten Manu Ginobili no, but late I'm saying, in the second when, round, when Kobe, and Tony Parker late in the first. Because what, what I always heard, well, Kobe wanted to – up his stats. He wanted he wanted Shaq out of the way. He felt he would never well, get yeah, his him full. And Shaq obviously right, he never him. felt like he would get his full recognition as long as Shaq. If Shaq stayed on the team the entire time as Kobe, I don't know if you would look at Kobe the same way. And Shaq what didn't get to 
you know, didn't go overweight and he still played and was dominant and say they won a few more championships. I don't I don't know if you would look at Kobe the same way. I, I think, like I said, for me it boils down to, and I said earlier, all three of these guys going in were iconic. You know, not, they're not cultural icons. Duncan is not a cultural icon. KG is closer to one, but not really. Kobe is one. And for me, because of that, they all had tremendous careers. Kobe and Duncan were the two best. They were better than Garnett. But I would say I would rather have Kobe's career. It's certainly, you can argue Duncan was a better player. But I'd rather have Kobe's career largely, Rob, because of the just the impact, the love, the the notoriety that he had. And Duncan didn't want it. Duncan didn't seek it. He, he's not that kind you know, of guy. Right, right. right. And that's fair. So it wasn't like he tried to get it and couldn't. But Kobe just got it. Would you rather have Kobe Bryant's NBA career or Tim Duncan's? All right, let's kick it off with uh, Akeem in Brooklyn. You're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Akeem? Hey, Akeem. Hey. All right. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, um, so this is easy. I'd rather take Kobe's career. He's more flashy, explosive. I was a Kobe fan. Um, he was my favorite player growing up, and I just think that, like Chris said, his, his legend would be a lot more um, in people's minds after they both are long gone. Right. And that's a part of it, too, and I'm glad he brought that up, Rob. I just would rather play like Kobe than Duncan. If I could play like one of them, I'd rather play like Kobe. I, I mean, that's, <laughs> I, I get it. One's flashy, one's um, fundamentally sound. I mean, I get it. But he accomplished a lot. He was more the man during most of those championships, five of the f- four of the five. He almost, you know, had a chance Remember at 6-0 like Robinson Michael was Jordan. Great that first year. Yeah, okay. Right. He was. I know. The but first it, year? Tim Duncan was a great player, and – um, when you talk no, he about was fantastic. he just was. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying, I don't know what he that. didn't do. Uh, Coop in Repeat. Seattle, you're on the I Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Coop? <laughs> Not much, fellas. How you guys doing? Good. Hey, man, how are you? you? You said that um, Timmy was the greatest power forward ever. Do you agree right. with that statement? I agree with that statement, right? Right. So, what are we talking about? If he's the greatest power forward, I'm, I'm taking Timmy's career. Right. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you, if you want to be the greatest power forward over the second greatest shooting guard, that's fine. But okay. well, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean he's ranked higher. It, I think people. It's just it's a probably flash. Even. It's not about any some of people it. have it's Kobe not, ranked higher. Some you people just have said it. You talked Duncan about some of, some of Kobe's cl- uh, clutch numbers. If you go by the new kids. And all the analytics, Kobe doesn't rate out well when you do the analytics. Am I right or wrong on that? Uh, he doesn't rate as as like in the top ten. He rates okay. He's like he's in the top twenty five in per per career. Where's Something Tim like Duncan? In, It'd be in interesting. PER. I'm gonna look it up now. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm it's curious. Be Chris. Interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if he's higher than Duncan. But really, uh, yeah, yeah. Duncan, I think, is higher, 24.2. Let's see. But I'll get it. But uh, Yeah, I mean, okay, so you're the greatest at your position, but Kobe's the second greatest, and Kobe's behind Michael Jordan. So we put Duncan at center, which we could easily do because he was a center. He ain't the greatest center center. ever. He did play center. (laughs) He played center. He was a power forward. I don't even know why we've ever called him a power forward. Even when Robinson was with him, Robinson went out on the on the elbow a lot. He was a power forward. He wasn't. You know, you know, Z, you know, you just want to go with the guy's argument. All right. Who that's 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 it? Rob G, that's it. Let me see. Uh, P E R Rob. Wait a minute, I'm sorry, Mike in New York. Mike in New York. You're on the odd couple, Fox Sports Radio. What's up, guys? Love listening to the show. I'm gonna keep it real simple. I'm gonna keep it real simple, okay? When you three in your third or fourth grade and you got a ball of trash to throw away and the trash can is about 15 feet away and you fall away to hit that shot, you ain't yelling Garnett and you ain't yelling Duncan. You are yelling mm. Kobe. No, Kobe you know what? the most iconic Mike, person from that Mike, generation. You were yelling Kobe you know what, Mike? or Duncan. That's for sure, Mike, Rob. you're wrong. You what know what? Because I'm, I'm, I'm calling Rob? bank. When I, I'm calling bank Please when I'm trying to put that in bank. off the you wall. Will, you will oh, call yeah. bank, Rob. You will <laughs> call bank, Rob. I'm hitting all that, and I'm yelling Kobe. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm with you on that. One of the most artistic shot makers that we've seen in the NBA. How and, about uh, when he, how about when he, how about Mike, when he quit on his team, that doesn't bother you at all? I'm just curious. Hey, man, I think Rob G said it best. You know, it, it wasn't a good look. I'm not going to lie. It was okay. not a good look. And I'm not going to say that Duncan he didn't have a squeaky clean career. But the question was, who would you rather have? All right, I'm and just Kobe's asking. Impact, who would you rather have? I'm just asking. Um, well, that, Rob, to answer your question about PER, Duncan is 14th all time. PER. Yeah. Kobe? Uh, Kobe? Kobe is 26th. Okay. PER, yeah. So, interesting. Barkley's actually ahead of Duncan and Kareem. Barkley was a great player. Uh, yep. Hello. Seriously. No, I know. Barkley, uh, you I'm know that, saying. Chris. Chris no, Paul for a lot ninth. of people who, who try to diss Barkley because he nah, didn't win Barkley a championship. Was awesome. Barkley was a great player. The numbers bear it out. I covered the dude in his heyday. Yeah, he was 